Okay. Abortion in Arizona is said to be illegal in nearly all circumstances, state high court rules. The Arizona Supreme Court on Tuesday upheld a 160-year-old abortion ban, 160 years, that could shutter abortion clinics in the state, saying the law that existed before Arizona became a state could be enforced going forward. I mean, how ar- how arbitrary is it, man? Look, listen, laws are important. Laws are important. And, you know, for the most part, people follow them. But uh, at the same time, <laughs> it, it, laws are an agreement, man. It, you know, it's an agreement. I mean, how can you make this make sense other other than you just had to find a reason and an excuse of some kind to push your agenda forward? These motherfuckers don't care. The ruling indicated the ban can only be prospectively and uh, prospectively enforced, and the court stayed enforcement for 14 days, but it's already causing political earthquakes. Quote, there really is no way to sugarcoat it. Today is a dark day for Arizona, said Angela Flores, president and CEO of Planned Parenthood Arizona. The pre-statehood law mandates two to five years, two to five years in prison for anyone aiding, anyone aiding an abortion. So what I what does that mean if you help if you drove them to a clinic or some shit like that is that what that's supposed to mean? I mean god damn this is just and again we know that it's just authoritarianism they don't care but it's like I, y'all y'all don't y'all don't want to win. You don't want to win. How what more what more evidence do you need? that people don't want this shit. What more evidence do you need? But again, they they don't care about that. That doesn't matter to them. Fuck what the people want. This is what they want. Okay, so two to five years in prison for anyone aiding an abortion, except if the procedure is necessary to save the life of the mother, which I'm sure there's all types of loopholes there as well. A law from the same era requiring at least a year in prison for a woman seeking an abortion was repealed in 2021. Uh, Enforcement would mean the end of legal abortions in Arizona. Though some providers said they will continue offering abortions at least for a time, likely through May, which is a few weeks from, that's like a few weeks. That's literally a few weeks. Uh, where are we now? Um, okay, because of a, because of a prior court ruling and the state's top Democrats have taken steps to thwart the enforcement, reproductive rights activists say it means Arizona women can expect potential health complications. Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs issued an executive order last year giving all power to enforce abortion rights to the state attorney general. The current attorney general, Democrat Chris Mays, has vowed not to enforce any abortion bans, but her decision in Hobbs' order could be challenged by one of the state's county attorneys. The decision was four to two, with Justices John R. Lopez, Fourth, Clint Bolick, James P. Bean, and Catherine H. King in the majority. Lopez wrote the majority opinion, while Vice, (laughs) God damn. Again, it's it's just arbitration. That's all this is, man. People do what they want when they can. Obviously, assholes do worse things when they can, but you know what I'm getting at. The nature of power. While Vice Chief Justice Ann A. Scott Timmer penned a dissent, Chief Justice Robert M. Brutonell joined Timmer. Quote, physicians are now on notice that all abortions except those necessary to save a woman's, woman's life are illegal. And that additional criminal and regulatory sanctions may apply to abortions performed after 15 weeks gestation. The ruling reads, the majority ruled that a law passed in 2022, which prohibited abortions after 15 weeks, did not repeal the pre-statehood, the pre-statehood before it was even a state. The justices said the 2022 law was enacted by the legislature because the prior law was at the time enjoined in court, whatever the fuck that means. Quote, life is a human right, and today's decision allows the state to respect that right and fully protect life again, just as the legislature intended, said said Alliance Defending Freedom Senior Counsel Jake Warner. 
who argued the case before the court in favor of the pre-statehood ban. One immediate effect of the ruling could be more support for a potential ballot measure in the works for this year. Advocates say they've already got more than half a million signatures, well above the threshold of 383,923. That is a very specific number. I wonder how they break these things down. 383,923 signatures needed by June. And it says that it puts a start choice before voters. Of course it does. 1864. This is so, this is so stupid. The abortion ban first codified in Arizona law in 1864 has been waiting 160 years to come back into it. Um, first appearing in the 1864 Howell Code. Eight, bro, that is so long ago. 1864. Hmm. And this is just going a little bit more into, again, the fight, man, like the the um, Roe v. Wade and then the 50-year-long fight to just take us back. Like, y'all care this much about this shit. Yeah, they do. They do. They care that much about culture and controlling it. They care that much about controlling people. It means that much to them that for 50 years they haven't let up, and they finally got their way. For almost 50 years, legal abortions were considered a fact of American life until the Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization ruling in June of 2022 that removed the Roe protections. I mean, bro, Republicans just fuck shit up, man. That's all they do. They just fuck things up. Uh, uh. And, and and it's like what like what can what can really be done other than like what fifty more years of of fighting to reverse the shit back? I mean, we can't take our foot up off the gas. We got Dragon Ball Super in the building. What's going on? But I mean, again, the sad thing is, is ain't it really ain't that much we can do about this other than fight for fifty years or some shit like they did. Now we got to do what they did. And it might take 40, 50 years to get anything significant done outside of blue. Blue states are going to continue to protect this. But and, 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 and there will be red states that will protect protect abortion access as well. But we're going to keep very right wing conservative states that don't give a damn. It's I mean, and again, the saddest thing about it all is there's really nothing quick that can be done about it. There just isn't. Well, there you have it. And it's like, it's like, it's like a snowball effect. You know, these people can't stop state after state after state measure after measure. You know, first we do 16. Let's do 12. Now let's do six. And it's like you you all are only appeasing a very small group of people. And you got to know it. You got to know it. But again, they don't give a damn. It's just what they want. <laughs>